Okay, uh, so this is a, a music room. It's a, a, I, I keep forgetting to do two things. We're getting that funny buzz, Michael. As I've had a couple of glasses of wine, maybe that's the buzz. <laughs> but the, 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 the two, two things that I meant to say, because otherwise I'm gonna get wrapped over the knuckles by the PR company and the media company. Um, the first thing is that we, we, we had a real problem when I started Flagstone because I, everyone said, well, you know, I got all these really smart advertising people. They said, well, what's the essence, man? What's your mission? And I said, well, we're going to pay school fees. And they said, well, yeah, well that's the wrong business choice. But uh, the, 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 then it was like, well, the essence, I don't know what the essence is. You know, we're just doing what comes naturally. We're trying to make the best wine in the world. That's what everybody says. So we didn't really have a way of putting our finger on the essence, but over time we developed a certain style, we did things in a particular way, and recently Ali, Ali keeps finding these incredible people to help us. Um, and we had a brainstorm session with a company called Threeverse, which is doing advertising for Flagstone. Brilliant, fresh, wonderful new advertising. And they hit it on the head, on the nail within seconds, and they said, look, this is a brand about creativity, which is you know, really why we're doing this weird and wacky wine tasting. Um, although I do think that there's a reason and that it works. And, uh, and they said, we're born creative. That's what connects us all together. I mean, have you ever asked a group of, of five-year-olds whether or not they can sing and dance? There's not one that says no. We're all born creative. And uh, I think the idea is some of us don't lose that. <laughs> I mean, some idiot actually got up on a stage. He's almost 50 and did a rap song. So you, 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 some of us you know, don't lose the inhibition. Okay, so this is a... This is a uh, the, 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 sorry, and all the, all the labels obviously and the wines have names and the meanings behind the names are important. This is a particularly important one, it's called Music Room. It's, it's really about the musician family I grew up in. My mom was a musician, her mother was a musician. Our house was full of music all the time, full of musical people with all sorts of different instruments and, and, and different ideologies and, and all sorts of, we had a very exciting time in the 80s with a lot of her students and herself being arrested and other things. So I grew up in, in that sort of environment. And um, uh, I think uh, that, that comes in a lot. Although winemaking is a very precise science, you need to see the wine through the eyes of a scientist, but you need to feel it with the heart of a poet. So this is called Mother's Music. <clears throat> and if I cry, I'm sorry. I have, I, this is an amalgamation of two poems and I, I wrote it this weekend. The day you died, I paddled out at surface corner, way past the back line, where the ocean breathes unbroken, and I looked back at your mountain, watching me through waterfalls. You were born into the loss of war with only the mooty of music. You were raised by a musician mother and thunderstorms, settling dust like bad debts, with a mad spring that did music, with a hard edge respect for money, insisting musicians are well paid those connectors to our ancient past, our humanness. You brought into our lives rooms of music, the talk of drums, ring of hands, the charge of pipes, purse of flute, the salute of trumpets, the secret society of flamenco heels, the halo of harps, somersaulting pianos, the embrace of cellos, rain clouds of voice, the high of the gig, river stones of marimba, the lottery of applause, the laws of silence, and the shield of a beautiful guitar.